Now I am going to explain very important part and it is oxidation number. Oxidation number is of great importance in all the chemical reactions. You know chemical reactions they are of different type whether it is combination, whether it is addition, whether it is you know, decomposition or displacement. All the reactions they have the concept of oxidation and reduction. So that's why we study oxidation number. Actually oxidation number simply means the charge carried by an element in free state or combined state. So it is defined as the charge charge carried charge carried by an element by an element either in free state free state or combined state free state or combined state so it means what we say valence valency of an if or the valency of an element in free state or combined state it is there then the point is how to calculate the oxidation number or charge so calculation calculation of oxidation number so it's very simple to calculate to find out so here oxidation number oxidation number on an element on an element or charge bear by an element or elements is equal to number of atom or atoms number of atoms or atoms and it is equal to the charge charge carried charge carried by the species charge carried by the species the species can be a molecule or ion the species can be a molecule or an ion so this is the meaning so simply we have the idea to find out the oxidation number or charge now we'll see next now before finding the oxidation number or charge pack, there are some basic guidelines or they are simply called as rules so first rule or first point and they are fixed for particular element in particular case the first point all the elements all the elements in their elemental elemental means free elemental or free state elemental free state has oxidation number equal to zero all the elements in their elemental state or free state it means in uncombined state like H2 O2 N2 F2 Cl2 Fd Au Ag Copper it means free state of a metal or non-metal so they have charge equal to zero this is the first point now second point halogens halogens have 
oxidation number of minus 1. Halogens have oxidation number of minus 1 because they gain one electron in most of the cases. Most of the cases except interhalogen except interhalogen compounds interhalogen compounds are the compounds formed by two different halogens they have, they have you know they have plus 1 plus 3 plus 5 and plus 7 like we have icl3 here iron has plus 3 and here it has minus 2 like this now third alkali metals alkali metals have oxidation number of plus 1 while alkaline alkaline or metals have plus 2. Alkali metals like members of first group they have plus 1. Alkaline metals like calcium, barium etc. they have plus 2 etc. Next is hydrogen. So hydrogen and oxidation number of plus 1. Plus 1 in most of the cases, most of the cases, except, except hydrides where is minus 1, like see S2O, so you know oxygen has 2 minus, here it has 1 plus but here we take NaH sodium hydride. So sodium, you know, it is member of first group, so it has plus one, so here it has minus one. So this is there. Now coming to oxygen. Oxygen has minus two. Oxygen minus two in most of the Cases. In most of the cases, while at some is plus two and plus two, like O two F two, O two F two. Here, you know, chlorine has minus one, so here there is plus one. Then O F two. Here it has minus 1, here it has plus. Now, some elements, there can be variation in the valences. Now, in some elements, there can be variation in some cases. An element, an element can have different valences, can have different oxidation states different oxidation state and is due to the you know its combination with different elements in a variety of manner due to the combination with different number of atoms of other elements like here SF6 sulfur has plus 6 then SO2 here oxygen has 4 minus so here 4 plus so like this, there can be the valence like S to S. Here hydrogen has plus one, it has two minus. So the point is that there can be 
different valences and so these are some of the guidelines basically about the oxidation state. Now how to represent how to represent or write oxidation state. So as you must have seen here, it is written as plus or minus. So simply this is the way it is written as plus 6, plus 5, plus 4, plus 3, plus 2. One is written as plus, one is written as plus. Similarly, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, and like this. So, this is the simple way how to represent. And so, uh, this is due to the this condition. So, we write here oxidation number like this. Oxidation number charge carried by an element, it is written like this plus 6. Similarly, here, if I come to here, like sulfate ion, so sulfate ion here is 2 minus, charge carried, charge carried by an ion, it is written like this, it is here 2 minus, like NH4, here we write plus, then carbonate 2 minus, SO4, you know, it is 2 minus, then phosphate, PO4, 3 minus. But here, oxidation state, it is written like this. So, this is it. Now, next you will see how to find out the oxidation number. Now, here I have written the same formula. Oxidation number of element or elements can be different elements, atoms. Number of atom or atoms charge on the species. Now see simplest here. If write here S2O and you don't know what the charge carried by the oxygen. So here we have X unknown value. You know hydrogen has charge of plus one and total charge as the molecule is zero. Molecule neutral. So what we can select on the equation? So here, you know, it will be plus 2 plus x is equal to 0. Plus 2, 1 into plus 2 plus s is equal to 0. Or x is equal to minus 2. Very simple. So here we write down minus 2. Then again, coming to S of 4, 2 minus, let underline x, you want to calculate from the sulfur. So here x plus, you know oxygen has charge, oxygen has charge of 2 minus. So x plus, so this minus 2 into 4 is equal to 2 minus or x minus, so plus minus it will be minus 8 is equal to 2 minus or x is equal to plus 6. Very simple we find out. Then coming to MnO4 minus and so here underline magnesium, magnesium. So here let it be x, so x plus oxygen has charge of what? Minus 2. So, we write minus 2 into 4 is equal to minus 1 or 1. We generally don't write minus 1, simply 1 dash or x plus minus minus x minus 8 is equal to 1 or x is equal to plus 7. So, similarly we can find out for any species by knowing the formula and so this is about the finding of the oxidation number.